my review for Transformers Animated Electrostatic Soundwave with Ratbat. Um, I figure since BotCon's exclusive set is going to have an animated theme this year, um, I might as well do an animated review uh, since BotCon begins in a few days. Uh, but anyway, um, as you can see, um, Electrostatic Soundwave is a repaint um, of the original animated Soundwave mold. I was really surprised when they announced that they were actually going to make a figure for this. Um, this actually did appear in the cartoon, uh, which is kind of unusual given the animated had a bunch of repaints that never appeared in the cartoon. Uh, but this did appear in the cartoon. It appeared in that extremely bizarre episode um, where Soundwave took control of the minds of the Autobots and placed them in a virtual reality world uh, where they had to fight against an army um, of Soundwave clones that look just like this. Now, I personally didn't like that episode. Um, I know it was a fan favorite, so I know that's unusual, but I personally just didn't like it. But I did really, really like uh, the concept for this. Um, it's definitely homage to the Japanese Sound Blaster figure. Uh, I think it's nice that they went ahead um, and did uh, make a figure uh, to homage something that was really, really cool in the cartoon. Like I said, I didn't expect them to, uh, but they did. Uh, but as nice as this figure is, I'm going to say, I usually don't like recommending... Um, um, buying figures specifically for their accessories, uh, but in this case, I think buying this pack um, for Ratbat alone is totally worth it because Ratbat is just wicked awesome. I just love this little Ratbat figure. I mean, as you can see, um, he's got immaculate detail uh, for an animated figure. Uh, some sloppy paint. Um, the keys right here, um, they didn't uh, properly paint the uh, black keys, uh, so it looks kind of like uh, half the paint got applied to the black keys and half didn't. Um, it looks fine on this side. Uh, but it does look a little bit weird um, on the other side. Very, very cool. Extremely cartoon accurate, um, aside from the head um, up on the neck of the uh, keytar. Um, I wish that they had found a way to uh, conceal this head, but I do realize that may not have been in the budget. Um, but very, very cool. Very nicely detailed. Um, I really, really like the uh, little uh, pop rock uh, synthesizer bars right here. I think they're really, really cool. Uh, transformation on this guy, um, it's not too hard. I mean, it is actually pretty neat. I mean, it's own right. Uh, what you want to do is you want to split them down the middle, uh, like so. It can be a little bit tricky um, since it is a little bit stiff. But anyway, uh, you want to split it down the middle. Uh, then you want to... Uh, it likes to pop off, um, which is a bit of a shame, but oh well. Um, anyway, uh, go ahead and split it down the middle. Uh, then what you want to do is you want to take the two halves. I um, mean, you want to slowly uh, bring them out to the side. Um, and then raise up his head, and here you have Ratbat in his bat mode. Um, and I think it's pretty cool. Um, it looks very menacing, very much like a, one of those old vampire bats from those vampire movies that they made back in the day. Um, very, very nice. Um, I really, really like it. Uh, you can, if you want, uh, take it and place it on the port um, on top of Soundwave's roof um, to have kind of a bat uh, thing perched on top of the car. Uh, I personally think that looks a little bit weird, but you can do it if you want to. You also can, if you really struggle with it, uh, get the key tar uh, to fit on the top um, of this vehicle mode, but it's extremely hard, so I'm not going to do it um, on this review. Um, so like I said, buying this guy alone for Ratbat, I think is totally worth it. Ratbat, I think, is just wicked, wicked awesome. I um, mean, anyway, uh, moving on to Soundwave. Uh, like I said, uh, he has all the original flaws um, of the original Soundwave mold, uh, but very, very cool. Um, it does seem like the joints are a lot tighter on this guy, but it does seem like they sacrificed uh, joint uh, tightness for paint application, because some of the paint is pretty sloppy. Uh, this this is actually okay right here. Um, it's not perfect, um, but some of the stuff in robot mode is a little bit uh, sloppy, as we'll see in a minute. But anyway, uh, now let's just say about it in terms of features. I do really like these uh, red highlights uh, they put on them, and I really, really like this red translucent window. You can kind of see it does have some tech detailing. It's not really coming out very well on camera. Uh, it does have some tech detailing. I'm um, inside of the windows, which I think is pretty cool. Um, very, very nice colors on this guy. I'm um, very, very cool. Um, like I said, not much to say in terms of features, except it does roll fairly well, and that's about it. I mean, he does still have the, uh, he does still have the same uh, kind of uh, cassette player uh, type tape deck thing. I'm um, up in the front, just like the original figure. I um, mean, anyway, on to transformation. Uh, you want to go down here and go ahead and flip that up. Uh, then you want to uh, take these arms um, and pop them out of the side. Like so. Uh, then you want to bend this down a little bit. Uh, then what you want to do is um, you want to take this whole assembly and you want to bring it down like so. Uh, then what you want to do is you want to split this. Uh, and then you want to go up here. Um, you want to flip this up like so. And like so. Uh, then you want to uh, you want to bend his knees around uh, like so. I'll uh, go ahead and flip up his feet. 
Uh, then you want to uh, rotate him around at the waist, um, and then rotate him on um, the knees so his legs are facing properly. Uh, then you want to go ahead and flip out his hands, like so. Now this one can be a little bit tricky. There we go. Um, then uh, you want to take this piece, and this piece, uh, I mentioned in my original Soundwave review, this piece was very, very tight. I mean, it still is tight on this version, uh, but it's nowhere near as difficult uh, to get up um, as the original, which I think is nice. Um, but anyway, uh, you want to go ahead and flip that up. I'm going to rotate this around. I really, really like what they did with the tape deck. Uh, the original Soundwave figure actually has all this detailing on it, but you couldn't see it because it wasn't painted. Uh, but on this guy, they went ahead and painted the inside of it, and it just looks really, really wicked awesome with the synthesizer bars and this red plastic on um, the tape deck. It just looks really, really cool in person. It's not really coming out uh, very well on camera, just how cool it looks, but it's really, really awesome. Um, but anyway, uh, get him to stand. Uh, then you want to... Uh, you want to flip these in, uh, like so. I should actually tab in a little bit tighter. See if I can... It usually doesn't give me any kind of trouble, uh, but when I go to shoot the review of it... There we go. Uh, then, um, like I said, his head can be a little bit difficult, so I'll go ahead and use uh, Ratbat's wingtip uh, to get it out. Like so, he does have very, very nice light piping. Let's see if I can show that off. I mean, he does have very, very nice light piping. It's not really coming out very well on camera, uh, which is a bit of a shame, but he does have some very, very nice red light piping, uh, which I think is cool. Um, and then you have electrostatic sound wave in robot mode. Um, and like I said, you know, it has all the same flaws as the sound wave figure. Um, I'm still really not keen on uh, how they did these legs and how he always has to have his lower legs um, at a permanent angle, which I think is a bit of a shame. Um, and like I said, um, on this guy, it seems like the paint is a little bit sloppy, especially up here. That's the only real major flaw um, that I can see right now. Um, but I think that there were a couple. I haven't uh, transformed this guy in a long time. Um, I usually keep him in robot mo or, uh, vehicle mode, um, as I've shown off in my collection update videos. But he does have some sloppy paint, up, but the joints are a lot tighter. Um, he does have all the same posability as Soundwave. Um, his head is on a ball joint uh, that's a little bit limited. It can rotate left and right. It can't really go up and down, oh, which is a bit of a shame, but oh well. Um, he does have a hinge right here just due to transformation. Um, his shoulders rotate 360. Um, a hinge right here at the shoulder proper. Um, he does have the uh, very nice uh, elbow joint right here, um, and then the ball and swivel elbow, uh, which I thought, always thought was really neat. Um, he does have hands that go in and out, which isn't really useful. Um, his waist does rotate. Um, he does have ball jointed hips, uh, so they can go in and out and back and forth. I mean, he does have ball jointed knees, which are really the only loose joint on him. Uh, but it's not loose to the point of where it's uh, bad or anything. It just is a little bit looser than the rest of the joints. Um, and his feet do rotate side to side and go up and down. So like I said, you can always get a lot of posability um, out of this mold, which I thought was really, really nice. Um, anyway, uh, you can take Rat Bat if you want. I mean, you can. I'm not really sure why this wing keeps popping out. It usually doesn't give me this much trouble. I'll have to take a look at it after I'm done here. I mean, anyway, you can uh, take Soundwave and you can plug him onto these two ports on his arms. Um, and you can uh, plug Ratbat um, on. It can be a little bit tricky. Um, but let's see if I can get it. Man, I'm not really sure why. Oh, that's why. I mean, he's not, he's not folded properly. Come on, thing. Well, take my word for it. He can plug uh, Ratbat onto his shoulders just like he can with the original Soundwave. Uh, but you can also, if you want, uh, fold Ratbat uh, back into uh, Kitar mode. Um, and you can uh, take this uh, little port right here and you can plug it into the screw hole um, on Soundwave. And you can have him uh, jam it out. It is a little bit more difficult uh, to get him into a kind of jamming out pose. Uh, than with the original sound wave, uh, just because uh, Rat Bat is a little bit thicker on I mean, his musical instrument mode, but you still can get it into a pretty neat pose where he's jamming out with Rat Bat, which I think is kind of neat. I'll go ahead and get Rat Bat transformed real quickly. Like so. And then just get him to stand. Uh, it is a little bit more uh, tricky to get uh, Rat Bat to stand too uh, than it is with Laser Beak, which is a bit of a shame, but oh well, what are you going to do? I mean, like, uh, so for some real quick size comparisons, uh, first off, here he is uh, for a standard size comparison uh, next to uh, 
Revenge of the Fallen Bumblebee. So you can see, um, he's about an average uh, deluxe size. A little bit shorter um, with the head uh, than Bumblebee, but not by much. Um, and also, uh, here he is next to uh, the original sound wave. Uh, so you can see, just a night and day difference uh, color scheme-wise. I think it's really, really awesome uh, just how cool they look together. Very, very nice. Uh, very nice repaint of this guy. Um, definitely Hasbro went all out with this repaint. Um, I think it's really, really awesome. So yeah, overall, uh, like I said, um, if you want to hunt this set down specifically for Ratbat, I totally recommend it. Ratbat is just wicked awesome. Uh, the figure's really, really nice too. Um, but I think if you're only going to get Ratbat, or um, if you're only going to, uh, if you're only going to get uh, one version of Soundwave, um, I do think that you should uh, get the original mold. I mean, this figure is extremely nice, um, but I do think that. It is kind of just a way to get Rat Bat, um, in my opinion. So I definitely think that if you're going to hunt down Rat Bat, um, hunt him down alone if you can find him at a reasonable price. Um, but definitely get the original Soundwave mold over this guy. Like I said, this guy is really, really awesome, uh, but I definitely think that the original is better. So there you go, my look at Transformers Animated Electrostatic Soundwave with Rat Bat. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe.